Hey everyone, welcome back to Practical AutoCAD and Inventor. Today, I will be showing those of you using AutoCAD Electrical how to insert components into a ladder diagram. This is a crucial skill if you're creating electrical schematics, and once you get the hang of it, it's really quite simple. Let's get started. I'm going to complete a simple latch circuit that has a couple of push buttons, a relay, a couple of contacts for that relay, and a couple of lights. I already have the ladder diagram in place with all of the necessary wires, so let's get started. In order to insert components into AutoCAD Electrical, what you'll want to do is make sure that you are on the Schematic tab, and then you'll go to the Icon menu right here. This is where you will select all of your components that need to be inserted into the drawing. I'm going to start with some push buttons. So the first push button that I want is a normally closed push button. This is going to be my stop push button. And so once I choose my normally closed push button, I can come in and I can put my push button wherever I want it to be on the line here. Now, as soon as I click, it's going to trim out the wire. Notice that it trims out the wire there. And it brings up this dialog box where I can put in information as far as what needs to go along with that. So for description number one, I will just put stop to let everybody know that is this is the stop button. And if I wanted to, I could also put in a description number two. I'm going to leave that blank right now. Now AutoCAD Electrical comes with a complete catalog of most of the parts that you would see in a production type of a facility. So I don't need to know the catalog name or number for everything because if I go to this lookup tool right here, <clears throat> you'll see that it tells me I've got an Allen Bradley 30 and a half millimeter extended red push button and I could go through this list and I could find the one that I want. But in this case, I actually have one that I want. So I'm gonna to go to this diagram right here and the one that I want is this Allen Bradley uh, 800H BR6D1. So I'm just gonna copy that information right here. Copy that. I'll go back to AutoCAD <clears throat> and I'm going to paste that into my search bar right here, paste, press enter, and you'll see that it brings it up. So now it's gonna keep all of this information in the drawing, and if later on I want to create a bill of materials or a purchase order or something like that, I can simply query how many of these are in there. It'll allow me to either place it onto the drawing in a, uh, in a table or I can export it to an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll choose OK there, and then I will choose OK. And you will see that <clears throat> it asks me to map this to a catalog number. Yes, I do. I want to map it to the catalog number. And then it finishes it, puts it in there. It's a stop button. It's push button 525. The number 525 is because it's on line 525. The next thing that I want to put in here is a start push button, which is normally open. So I'll go back to the icon menu and then I'll go back to push buttons and then I will this time choose a normally open push button. Your normally open push button is always the start push button. So I'll pick where I want it to go here. This one is going to be start and as with before I could look up the catalog number that I want but again I have it in the second tab here. So here's my green one, same push button but this time it's just got a slightly different number so I'm going to copy that here and I will paste it back into here so that I get exactly the right one that I want and say that's the one that I want right there okay and okay so now I've got my start push button the next thing that I'm going to put in is my relay so a relay allows you to you know have some things normally open and normally closed <clears throat> um, the relay that I'm going to use is this one right here okay this Allen Bradley 700 okay so if I can I'm just gonna copy that right now so that I already have it in here this is the actual part that I'm looking at you know it's got all my connections and everything in there so now going back to AutoCAD again I'm going to go to the icon menu and this time I'm going to go to relays and contacts Notice, by the way, that recently used objects are over here, so that if I need to use them again, I don't have to dive back down. I can pick them up off of this. 
So I'm going to say relays and contacts. The relay that I want is this one. Outputs always go on the right side, so I'm going to put it over here on the right side. And this I'm just going to call it relay number one. <clears throat> and my, again, I'll go to lookup, and I'm going to paste that number in there. Enter, and that's the one that I want. Say OK, and OK. Again, map to the catalog, so we're good to go. All right, so I've got my first row done. Now, the next thing that I want to build is the actual latch itself. There's a normally open contact in this relay that once this relay is energized, it closes. I'm going to put that normally open contact on here so that it latches this circuit closed until somebody pushes the stop button. So again, I will go to the icon menu. I'll go back to relays and contacts, but this time I want that normally open contact right here. I'm going to put it on that second rung, 526. And this time, instead of having to look up the catalog, it's just saying it realizes, AutoCAD Electrical realizes that this is a part of a different component. So I've got two ways of choosing it. I can either choose parent sibling and go to the actual drawing itself and pick it here, or I can go to this drawing button and I can pick it right here. It's the same way, it just depends on which way you wanna do it, so I'll do that. And then notice it says relay one. It looks at this and says, hey, the description of that was relay one. I'm gonna import it here. I can choose okay. And now I've got that contact relay one here. Notice that, by the way, it does put in connections. So for your relays, K1 and K2 are normal. And this is A1X and A1Y. Now on this row, I'm going to put another normally open contact. And you'll notice because of the relay that I've chosen, it's going to put in different contacts here. So I'll go back again to my, uh, my component menu. I'm going to use this normally open component and I'm going to put it down here on 527. Again, I will say I want it to be linked to that original relay right there on uh, 525, say okay, and just okay again. And notice now that I've got different contacts, okay, than this one. It also adds those contacts over here. So this relay is controlling contacts on line 526 and 527. Now, if I want the normally closed contact, I'm gonna put that one right here. So again, one last time, or, or no, one last time for contacts, I'll go to relays. This time I want that normally closed contact. It's gonna go on 528. I'm going to link it to this one on 525 and just say OK. And notice again, it adds that normally closed contact. The last thing that I want to do is put in a couple of lights. So if we look at the lights that I want, I've got a red light and I've got a green light here. Oh, this one's not, there it is. There's my green light. They basically look exactly the same. So I'm gonna say, okay, with my red light, that's the number of the part that I want. I'm gonna copy that here. And then when I go to my icon menu, <clears throat> I want a pilot light. I want my red one. It's going to go lined up here with the output on that side. And I will say, um, actually, to do this one I want to be green. I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna put, the red one will put down here on the next line, so. Again, I want a red one. It's gonna go down here, okay? And this is stopped, just to have a number to put in there. Again, I'm going to look this up, paste that in there. That's the one that I want. Okay, okay. And the last one I'll put in is that green light as well. So this time I'll say I want a green pilot light it's going to go in there. Uh, this one will be running. And my lookup, all I have to do for this is change that R to G and it'll find it. So that's my green one. And then OK. So that concludes how to insert components and link them together in an electrical diagram, especially a ladder diagram.